We welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, it's the second of our Monday night doubleheader, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the New York Giants. As of this morning, summer officially over. It's time for autumn football, and we're underway on EA Sports. And a signal there for the fair catch, so this opening drive will begin at the 25-yard line. right one of the tight ends now a first carry here for Robinson yeah this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30 Charles they won last week despite him not running the ball well they told us need to get him going runs like that help and they talked to us about leaning on him because as you noted last week they didn't have to still won the ball game they leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed but they really want him to be that guy and that's what they're doing early in this game. Meanwhile, Richardson's and this throw brought in here by Mayer. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain on the play. And it brings up third and five now. There we go. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Richardson shotgun on third down. It gets it right back to Mayer. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. In motion, the tight end. First and ten, it's Richardson. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. The Giants at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Man open is Robinson. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. Hey, check that, check that. 19 tight, 19 tight. 18 rattler, 18 rattler. Richardson going on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. Down to about the 45. 
Well, this defense for the Giants, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. Second down and eight. And yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants' 40 yard line. They'll go to the air here on third and two. There he goes, left side. Down the left sideline. Touchdown! Chicago a great effort there his fourth touchdown on the year and the Bears put the Knights first points on the board as they take the early lead Aubrey good with a PAT and that makes the score seven nothing So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. Richardson to the air on first down. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Now a second and six. Richardson looking to throw this. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. From the shotgun, Richardson. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. And the Bears are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Inside the 10. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six on Giants touchdown. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line.
At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, Barton, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Seven, seven, our score after one. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That good for 19 and a first down. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. Right back to him on first down. There he goes, left side. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 63 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive and until that run, there was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said, move on to the next play. That one just happened, let it go. go. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. Now they'll change things up.
We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, it's the second of our Monday night doubleheader as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the New York Giants. This morning, summer officially over. It's time for autumn football, and we're underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And not a good return here at all, as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Second down and six now. Set up to throw. Escaping the pressure right. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. They'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. The tight end in motion right. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out.
We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Tonight, it's the second of our Monday night doubleheader, as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the New York Giants. of this morning summer officially over it's time for autumn football and we're underway on EA Sports and a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14 for most people the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction but for the guys covering it it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory how about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. A gain of two. Brings up second and well, Looks like they'll move things around here. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Well, this defense for the Giants, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. They'll drop to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That's the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. On first down, they'll go to the ground to town. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Brings up second and three. throw caught out wide. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, whatever script they put together for this offensive drive, Charles, seems to be working. I'm curious to see if this defense will make any adjustments here. Things certainly going according to plan, aren't they? I mean, the way they're advancing the football, it's like they're on the practice field having one of their better days. But instead, it's game day, and they're moving the ball downfield with purpose. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. Now he's loose down the middle of the field. Touchdown, Chicago! A big play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bears will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. 
Uh, the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And it's now a 7 0 game. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. down Richardson dancing to his left oh he's got a man wide open complete and he's taken down right at the 45 yard line so the big play moves him all the way across midfield it's first and 10 from the 45 Go three. Seven pirates. Seven pirates. Three. Three. Richardson looking to throw. Flush to his right. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And yeah, he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. Second down. Here's Richardson. They'll roll him out right. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. They'll run for it with Robinson. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And the Bears will get the football back. I guess they wanted to get that touchdown right back on their first drive but failed to do so. And what they have to be careful of is pushing so hard to stay right there, to stay even with their opponent that they gas themselves out. You know, it's almost like horse racing. Sometimes you don't want to take your horse right to the front and let them do all the work and then someone catch them at the end and pass them up. You want to make sure you moderate what you're doing along the way and then go for the big finish. And they'll begin by running the option. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. Down to about the 37. You talk about this giant defense. Well, they come in a top 10 unit against the pass, currently eighth in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. Second and six. Open man, it's Palmer. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. They'll set up a throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
And he will have the Bears first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders fly into the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 16 yards of first down. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense. Hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Now second and nine. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. What a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. And now they'll shift things around. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. And the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. They'll turn things over to Brandon Aubrey now for the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick here is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. All right, partner, Deuce is wild on this sequence. Two plays, two sacks, and now two points thanks to the safety. Offensively, there just didn't seem to be much of a plan when they came out on attack. That let the defense create a little chaos up front and set up one of their guys to make a play and get through and record the sack.
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Second and nine. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's more. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. First down there. Second and 14. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. And the Giants will go with six defensive backs here on third. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Boy, he almost did that himself, but it looks like he's about a foot or two short. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. Oh, they're changing this at the line. They'll try and run for it. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there. With his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Bears' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that will make this a 19-point game. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Mustang 19. Second and 10, back to the air with Richardson. That is incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. 19 tight, Now Richardson. And this one is incomplete. 
That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Ready, ready. Ha. Check, smash. Check, smash. They'll go for it. Here's Richardson. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10 yard line. Here's first and goal. And gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Now they try the right side here. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Now pass complete to Moore. Touchdown, Bears! D.J. Moore, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Bears would extend their lead here just before halftime. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Aubrey now for the PAT. Man, that will bump the lead up to 26. Bears 26, Giants nothing. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. One second, all that remains. Hurt, hurt. 60 Mavericks, 60 Mavericks. Rig alert, rig alert. 60 Mavericks, 60 Mavericks. Check smash, check smash. Warrior 70. A final shot before the half. Richardson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consent. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Keely Ringo picks it off. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he'll run on the inside handoff. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. 43 yards. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this, no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. There goes a deep ball, end zone. Oh, and that is incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays go, that they have not been doing so far. Ready. Second down and a run by Robinson. There he goes, left side. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. B. John Robinson. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Giants are able to cut into that deficit. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass, let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and that trims the lead a bit, but still standing at 26 points. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Yeah. 
I guess the last score wasn't enough for them. They want more. Here comes an onside kick. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. I guess the last score wasn't enough for them. They want more. Here comes an onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. Give him another shot here on the ground. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Here is third and five. They'll look to throw here. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of nine yards. First down, Chicago. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 163 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They go quickly here out to Moore. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They're going to have to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. It's a loss of one. Brings up second and goal at the two-yard line. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. two 